Hello and welcome to the Saint of the Day. Today is March 20th and today's saint is Saint Wolfran. His father was an officer in the armies of King Dagobert and the saint spent some years in the court of, Cl of King Clotaire III and of his mother Saint Batilde but occupied his heart only on God, despising worldly greatness as empty and dangerous and daily advancing in virtue. His estate of Morelli he bestowed on the abbey of Fontenelle, or saint saint Vandril in Normandy. He was chosen and consecrated Archbishop of Seine in 682 AD, which diocese he governed two years and a half with great zeal and sanctity. A tender compassion for the blindness of the idolaters of Friesland and the example of the English zealous preachers in those parts moved him to resign his bishop bishopric with proper advice, and after a retreat at Fontenelle to enter Friesland in quality of a poor missionary priest. He baptized great multitudes, among them a son of King Radbod, and drew the people from the barbarous custom of sacrificing men to idols. On a certain occasion, one Ovon, having been selected as a victim of a sacrifice to the heathen gods, St. Wolfran earnestly begged his life of King Radbod, but the people ran tumultuously to the palace and would not suffer what they called a sacrilege. After many words, they consented, but on condition that Wolfran's god should save Ovan's life. The saint betook himself to prayer. The man, after hanging on the gibbet two hours and being left for dead, fell to the ground by the breaking of the cord. Being found alive, he was given to the saint and became a monk and priest at Fontenelle. Wolfran also miraculously rescued two children from being drowned in honor of the idols. Radbod, who had been an eyewitness to this last miracle, promised to become a Christian. But as he was going to step into the baptismal font, he asked where the great number of his ancestors and nobles were in the next world. The saint replied that hell is the portion of all who die guilty of idolatry, at which the prince refused to be baptized, saying he would go with the greater number. This tyrant sent afterward to St. Vilbrod to treat with him about his conversion, but before the arrival of the saint was found dead. St. Wolfran retired to Fontenelle that he might prepare himself for death and expired there on the 20th of April, 729 A.D. Reflection In every age, the Catholic Church is a missionary church. She has received the world for her inheritance, and in our own days many missioners have watered with their blood the lands in which they labored. Help the propagation of the faith by alms and above all by prayers. You will quicken your own faith and gain a part in the merits of the glorious apostolate. Thank you for watching the Saint of the Day. Tune in tomorrow for the next one.